This writes the British Weekly The Economist in an article titled Tragicomedy, in which, in particular, assesses the popularity of the favorite in the race, comedian Vladimir Zelensky. According to the Weekly, planned Zelensky in case of victory and is still unclear, because the candidate so far has only provided vague promises to keep the course on European integration, to improve the investment climate and put an end to the war in the Donbass. Western diplomats embarrassed by his lack of preparation. Many fear that Vladimir Putin will eat him like a chocolate bar production of Petro Poroshenko, said the Weekly. But the main question, according to the newspaper, is not who wins, but whether the elections are legitimate, especially given the threat of Russian intervention. Although the source of danger may be the candidates themselves. The Economist recalled that Petro Poroshenko and Yulia Tymoshenko was accused of bribery of voters, and the presence of private armies and the excessive number of weapons in the hands of angry Ukrainians can lead to unpredictable consequences. As the newspaper writes, its author Keith Brown for four years conducted painstaking investigation of the tragedy and presented perhaps the most plausible conspiracy theory that you were once able to read. According to Brown, the world's organizations and officials to hide the real number of deaths from the consequences of tragedy which, it is estimated that within 30 years claimed the lives of people in Ukraine alone. The author suggests that radiation poisoning, and not only from Chernobyl but also from other radioactive leaks and hundreds of atomic explosions may be the cause of cancer and autoimmune diseases, the number of which is increasing, said the newspaper, adding that we are talking about thyroid cancer. But this was not done, partly because almost no one in the Soviet Union, from the Kremlin to the local hospitals, had no idea about how to deal with radioactive poisoning, the newspaper notes. For this creative process workers need a quiet atmosphere and personal space that in a traditional, open space, just yet, the newspaper notes. Privacy is the main factor that contributes to creativity. This is an individual process, not collective, quotes the edition of Roger Mitt, author of How to Steal the Fire, which tells how to encourage employees to be more creative in work. But how this can be achieved in a typical office building, where workers are forced to share common space with dozens of colleagues. On this question Mr. Mute no. Even those who have a private office, are often forced to participate in meetings and planning meetings, which are much less favorable to the creative process than individual work. Brainstorming and teamwork is a mainstay of the modern office life, not to mention endless meetings and other bureaucratic processes that divert us from the creative process or any other thinking. This practice still lives, despite its obvious shortcomings, said the Financial News Bay. Russian computer game based on the depressing realities of post-Soviet sleeping area has got unexpected popularity among gamers, says the Independent. In the game called Winter, there is no story or quests. Only the atmosphere familiar to all the inhabitants of the former Usser, prefabricated houses, grey sky, a small kitchen and an abandoned porch. You have nothing, no way to go, nowhere to seek adventure, no exciting story. Only a broken radio, a refrigerator with food, loneliness and endless snow, reads the game description on Steam, where you can buy it for $7. This game is a must-buy if you are familiar with typical post-Soviet cities in Russia or Eastern Europe. I haven't been home, and this game reminded me of why return not necessary, the newspaper quoted one of the reviews.